name is Audrey Thompson, but all of my students call me Mrs. T, and I'm the founder and executive director of The Engineer Factory. Our goal is to try to encourage more kids like you to become engineers or other STEM professionals in the future. How do we do that? We do that by giving you access to really fun, hands-on projects. We have one of those really fun projects coming up next, so enjoy and hopefully you learn something. Bye. The objective of this project is to demonstrate an understanding of the basic physics principles that's incorporated in your design. You'll do this by designing a mousetrap car to travel at maximum speed and acceleration over 3 meters. That's about 10 feet. Materials you'll need include two wood shims, a 12-inch wooden dowel for the arm, two 6-inch wooden dowels for the axles, two jumble craft sticks, four compact discs, four wheel spacer inserts for the compact disc, a Victory Easy Set mouse trap, two 4-inch zip ties, an elastic cord, and two straws. Make sure you also have wood or hot glue, electric tape, and scissors as well. Once you've gathered all your materials, grab the two wooden shims and mousetrap. Place the two shims side by side, about an inch apart. Place the mousetrap on top of the two shims towards the thicker end and secure by gluing. Now, attach the axle extenders. These are your two jumbo craft sticks. Place the craft stick underneath on the opposite end of the mousetrap. Make sure the sticks are towards the edge of the shims. Grab your two straws and attach them with your glue to the underside, less than an inch from the ends. It's important to keep the straw straight so that your vehicle moves straight. Use your scissors to cut the ends of the straws that go past the wooden shims and sticks, and the part of the straw between the two craft sticks. Make sure the straws are extra secure with tape and insert the two 6 inch wooden dowels into the straws. These are your axles. Flip your car back over and carefully disarm the mouse trap by lifting the metal arm off the square copper snapper. Ask an adult for help if you need it. Use the two zip ties to connect the rod, the 12 inch rod, to the other side of the snapper and tighten them so that it doesn't move.
Pick up your cord and tie one end to the end of the rod and the other to the front axle. It's a good idea to secure with electric tape. Cut off any excess of the zip ties. Now you will attach the wheels to the axle by first pushing the wheel spacers into the center of the seating. You'll know you did it correctly if you hear a snap sound. Once all your spacers are inserted, you will put them onto your axles and secure the outside with more electric tape. With the help of an adult, if needed, rearm the mousetrap by moving the middle arm back over the snapper. Grab the front axle and wind the string around using the thumb and finger. Don't use the wheels to do this as they are too fragile. As you're winding, help push the long rod towards the front axle. While holding the long rod down towards the front axle, use your other hand or ask a friend to help you lift the cheese and place the copper stick into the slot at the bottom of the cheese. Trigger the trap by pushing down on the cheese. Now watch it go. For even more fun projects, click the link in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, see you next time.